study smarter, not harder. In this video, I will explain you how to study more effectively and efficiently. And I was able to study on many worldwide universities and get scholarship as well as practical experience. And I think that understanding and learning Learning is not only about repeating the information, but to truly understand what is presented to you and to use it in the real life. I'm all about practical usage. So I think that if we are absorbing some information, we should really understand it and know how to see it in the bigger picture. And I was and i still am a little bit lazy person so i had to come up with some solutions and some techniques on how to study very effectively because i never really enjoyed long hours and long nights studying and reading i was all about having fun connecting with people while still having my success in my university or in my job by that, I want to say that I don't think that you need to spend hours and a lot of days on studying for one single exam. I think it's more about studying smarter and know the right techniques. So in this video, I will tell you seven verified techniques. And in previous video, I mentioned that I've been to Tony Robbins event. If you want to know more, please watch this video. And why was completely fascinated by how he teaches people to actually absorb the information, but not only to remember, but to truly absorb and truly understand what is telling, what he is saying to you and to basically create new neurons in your brain. So this video is heavily inspired by Tony Robbins and it's something that I have learned after the university but it makes wonders for me. Before I will tell you about the techniques, so what is actually learning? And learning it's not figuring things out. Learning is basically process between two things. It's relationship between two things. Unknown something what I don't know and known. So basically that you don't know something and then you know something. That's the relationship, that's learning, not figuring things out. So the first thing, which I think it's so important, so crucial, and we are not aware of that in the daily life, in the daily hustle and busy schedule, know your why. And if you know your why, you study why you study this program, why you are particularly suffering now with math and statistic, know your why. You want to get this exam? Do you want to get in a bigger picture this program? You want to get this uh, program to be done and graduated to, in order to get a better salary, better job, better opportunities, better you want to sustain your family, you want to support your parents, you want to support your community, know your why. Because this why, this deep why, will give you energy even if you're tired, even if you're frustrated, even if you're suffering and you don't want to see this horrible math anymore. Know your why and it will help you to overcome this, this mo these moments when you don't feel like it. The second thing which I want to mention is to try to make a routine. As a, as a person which is grown up in chaotic environment, it's quite difficult to make a routine, but really I use Google Calendar and try to put some slots for learning. Let's say hard work, deep work is always in the noons between nine and 12 and maybe in the evening, whatever works better for you. You don't have to study at 5 a.m. or at 12 p.m. Whatever works best for you, you will probably know if you're more day person or a night person. But try to create a routine. Try to create a routine where you know when you study, you know when you work out, you know when you go to school. I understand that with the schedule from the school, which might be different every week or every two months, that's a little bit difficult, but try to figure out how to make some things in your daily life stable and routine. 
also try to make something and try to do something what makes you fun every single day day and this is so important and I didn't really fully realize that when I was studying I was so focused sometimes and I was kind of burned out already at school I always thought that burnout it's something in your 40s and your 50s but no you can be totally burned out in the school and how to overcome this is that you do something what makes you fun what fulfills your desires your wishes what what makes you happy every single day it's equally important as brushing your teeth every single morning for example you go for a walk uh, in the nature every day or you go for a workout or you meet your friends but this might be sometimes tricky because sometimes you might meet your friends and then spend the entire day with them which sometimes it's the opposite of what we want to be focused on something but if it makes you happy, then schedule one hour every day with your friends or make a good food. Proper nourishment and proper good food is extremely important for you to be to for your brain to function well. So to make sure that you have some healthy health fats, uh, you have some veg you have a lot of vegetables, and try to avoid sugar because uh, even though it seems that it gives you energy, it makes you depleted uh, in the long term so make something do something what makes you fun every single day what gives you energy what makes you feel alive extremely important the other tip is don't try to multitask i have read recently a book that women tend to be more able to work while multitasking while for a man this is uh, basically impossible while they are concentrated on something to do something else However, I think that if you're multitasking, that you are not concentrating on one task fully. So try to really, as I said, to have this routine where you have this deep work for one, two, three hours a day and fully focus, pour all your energy into that task. However, it might not work for you that you have some really dense text, uh, you need to read through something, this team work doesn't have to be three full hours. You can try the Pomodoro technique or you can try to listen to uh, this, to listen to something while you're walking, but try to dedicate this time slot in your calendar. One thing which is extremely helpful if you want to really fully make this process of learning easier, faster, more effective, is to become a teacher or become a tutor. Let's say that you really understood something what, what you're learning, let's say uh, Spanish, and you will offer maybe your classmates, your peers or younger students to teach them. Not only that you can strengthen your information, but you can also earn some money and make a high side hustle from this but if you are able to explain something to other people then you know that you understood that topic completely and also when i was at the university i had a calendar the first thing i did in the first week when we we, we were aware of all the deadlines and the exams and when we need to submit some papers. I created a paper, basic A4 paper, and I wrote, have written, I wrote all the deadlines. Even though they were not relevant to me at the time, maybe in the first week, I wrote and I was able about the, I was aware about the deadlines. And the last tip, in my opinion, the most important tip which I was so fascinated by the Tony Robbins event in the UK I did last week, Unleash the Power Within, was move. And how movement and physical exercise is extremely important if you want to learn effectively and efficiently. I always thought that the physical exercise is more about like looking good and maybe be faster or be stronger. But in fact, if you exercise and now have a lifting, yoga, pilates, fit box, football, whatever, some physical exercise, if you do it regularly, at least three times a week, it will help you immensely to be focused, to be disciplined, to have more energy and focus. And maybe you know this, 
and maybe you didn't know but if you want to be successful student if you really have a lot of study to to absorb then you absolutely need to incorporate physical exercise in your weekly schedule and it's not only about working out but what makes studying and learning extremely helpful and even like fun that if you are for example listening to some a class you you listen to it and then you're jumping and you do some physical exercise while absorbing the information i know that it might be difficult when you're reading something but if it's possible that i don't know you listen to podcasts you listen to class you're on a zoom call where you don't need to have the camera on make sure that the camera is not on because then it looks a little bit crazy but having physical exercise during or at least before or after helps so much and i am just so enthusiastic about this because just imagine that you go to regular high school or to school and before every class the teacher asks you hey let's do some jumping for one minute or three or five minutes it will change the physiology in your body so you will not only have more energy more focus but you will have better mood you will feel better and if you feel better and you study something you automatically create this relationship feeling good and studying mad wow that's crazy but somehow it gets along and you will create this positive association in your brain. So next time when you're going to study math, you will feel positive about it. You will feel like, okay, why not? I felt good when I was studying math. So before the class or during or after, try to incorporate some physical movement, jumping, squats, whatever. Maybe try to Google Tony Robbins um, priming exercise or some exercise which involves moving. This was a big game changer for me, I will be very honest. So that's why I'm so, so, so excited to share this with you. I hope that these steps, even though they might some known for you, but some might be unknown, uh, I truly hope that they will bring you results when you're learning something or not only learning, but you're producing something you are whatever you're doing in your job in your career in your side hustle in your hobby and let me know if there are other techniques which are helpful for you to study or to concentrate because nowadays in the world of social media tiktoks and all these ads which are jumping to you we have uh, an attention which is like two seconds and we need to nourish our attention and our focus because it's extremely precious and only this when we we are able to navigate our attention our mind and focus then we can get the extraordinary results i hope you have enjoyed this type of content let me know in the comment and see you in the next video guys bye bye